Hey guys, welcome back to Swiss Watch Expo. Vlad is here, and today we're going to discuss interesting uh, part of the watch uh, industry. It's the military-inspired aviation watches, and today we have like three examples of brands that are highly connected with aviation and make their very nice tactical watches up here. So welcome back guys, Vlad is here and today we're going to discuss a couple of the aviation watches from the brands that have the biggest connection with aviation uh, and it's going to be Breitling, it's going to be IWC and we're going to talk about Bell & Ross. And first let's start with this Breitling. This is a very interesting model, it's Navitimer 8. This is the model that Breitling come up as soon as they change the ownership, like Breitling is not longer owned by uh, Breitling family, it's actually owned by a conglomerate and like their new CEO decided to kind of change the lineups, kind of like put a little bit more fresh air into the collection and they come up with this model. Uh, this is more um, simplified Navitimer model that have all the uh, iconic characters to it, but also a little bit more simple and a little bit more easier to wear, read, understand what's going on. So what we have up here, it's a 43 millimeter uh, timepiece. It's a have a chronograph function to it and it's made from a uh, black DLC steel. So it's stainless steel, uh, stainless steel piece, but it's DLC coated in black paint just to kind of like give us a little bit more military uh, aspects to it. And this particular model is kind of mixed between like current technology because again, it's one of the recent uh, additions to the Brightfield collection, but the design of the watch is made to look uh, vintage. So first of all, we have this um, dial that look like it's tritium and it's patinated over the time, even though it's not, it will be uh, shining pretty brightly in, in dark environment and also like they're combinated with like this uh, vintage looking strap with a stitching that also kind of a little bit of tent uh, to give it a little bit more vintage look uh, to the timepiece. Uh, the thing about the Navi Timer A that uh, I like the most is how simple but also effective this watch is. So first of all you have a bi-directional bezel up here that only have one mark. So you can use this bezel to time things with your chronograph and with your just regular time option, but you don't have so many of uh, um, some markings on the bezel or some things that will get, like will disturb your attention. Um, it's also have the chronograph and the cool thing about this watch is have a black black dial with the uh, kind of like white or tent hour markers and chronograph sub dials. So you definitely can see what's going on in your sub dials and what time it shows um, and how your chronograph works. Uh, and also they put the uh, day, date complication into this watch. Um, so you know the date of the week and date. So everything that you need from the watch in much more simplified uh, design, uh, Breitling did a Navi Timer 8 model. Very beautiful watch, but if we move it forward, we're gonna talk about this beautiful IWC Pilot. This model is a time zoner. Uh, and this is the IWC look to connect the, their pilot line with the world time complication. And they did it very, very interestingly. So first of all, like we already talked about like Patek world times, we talk about Vacheron world time, and they all work in a similar thing. Like they have the inside circles with the cities. Uh, IWC decided to take it outside and you have those cities and you can change the uh, time zone when you're it by rotating the bi-directional bezel. So if you rotate it on both sides, the cities will be changed and you will change the time zone on your timepiece. Uh, also, one of the things about this watch is that it have the uh, big date window up here that actually uh, shows you not the date, but uh, the second time zone, uh, which is also very cool, but it's, it's look like a big date wheel. But you also have the date wheel at three o'clock uh, as a regular. Uh, this watch is powered uh, by automatic movement from IWC as usually very beautifully decorated but it's also uh, kind of like a tent, so you don't see it a lot, which work with the seam of the watch. Uh, but if you will take a closer look, you will see how beautiful the moon with this. The technology, how the IWC made this watch is also very interesting. They decided to combine the ceramic and titanium inside of the case of this watch. So the watch will be a little bit more lightweight, but also robust as ceramic, and it will be harder to scratch the timepiece. And the regular attributes for the IWC pilots, you have this easy to operate, very big crown. You have this beautifully uh, kind of, uh, beautifully made uh, rubber strap that actually have like a canvas uh, on outside. Um, and overall, like it's, it's a very nice watch and very unusual in the uh, overall in Swiss watch extra collection and in the uh, watch industry because you won't see anything else like that with like the 
uh, where you can operate the time zones by rotating the bezel. Very unique and very thoughtful uh, complication that LVC decided to put in this time zoner. And now if we're moving back to the last watch that we have today, it is beautiful Bell & Ross uh, radio compass. The Bell & Ross is known in industry with their connection with aviation because they all design of their watches are inspired by the uh, aviation tools in the um, pilot's cockpit. And this watch is uh, one of them. So like you have a, the perfectly square shape by 42 millimeters. This watch is made from ceramic. So again, it will be harder to scratch. It also will not fade over the time. But the main thing about this watch is dial and handset that they use. Uh, so the main point of the uh, pilot's watch is that you have to read it very easily and you have to see the time instantly. Like you, can, you only have one second to take a look at the time and you're ready, you, you need to read it right away. And with this watch, it's also very interesting how they decide to make it. First of all, both hour and minute hand are very different, even though they are in similar design, they make do different colors. And they also kind of show you where it is. So you have age on the hour marker and you have minute on the minute marker. And you also have the bright green uh, second hands. And the hands are prolonged just to make it fun for design, something that you won't see a lot with other watches. And um, the IWC also put like a small date window at uh, between like four and five, uh, which is also cool in my opinion, because uh, usually date windows, they kind of like make the dial not symmetrical. But in this case, because they make it very, very small, if you need to look at the date, you will be able to see it. But if you are not trying to like focus on the date, you won't really see it on the overall dial. And one of the coolest thing about uh, Bell & Ross is their design, because first of all, their watches look like this aviation tools you'll see in the pilot's cockpit. Uh, and it's also a pretty interesting wear, because uh, this is a pretty big watch uh, for pretty much anyone wrist, because even though it's 42 millimeter uh, across, like if we will measure the diameter, it will be much bigger, so it will sit bigger on your wrist, but it's also hug your wrist extremely well. So it's, it's something that you did not experience before, and if you want to get into the uh, Pilots watches, the Bell & Rose is one of the most unique designs in, in this collection. So we have much more Pilot watches in Swiss Watch Expo, and we'll be happy to discuss them with you. In those cases, I just pick up three watches that look the same and serve the same purpose, uh, but if you are interested in something else, please give us a call, we'll be happy to help you.